How's it going? I'm Cosmo James, and just when you think Blizzard can't get any worse, they do! Oh god, they do. Every time. So, um, they released this tool. They've been using this tool for a while. It's called the King's Diversity Space Tool. Yes, they've been using this tool since 2016 or so. And this tool lets you decide or puts everyone in neat little boxes showing how, you know, diverse everyone is. Like, their age, body type, abilities, gender, their sex, ethnicities, everything. Yeah, put them in neat little boxes. It does remind me of someone. Yeah, it really does. History does repeat itself. Oh, boy. With them trying to be more inclusive and diverse, oh, I hate those words, they ended up just being uh, bigots and um, a little racist. Yeah, just a little. Uh, we're going to go through this because uh, they even did an editor's note because there was a lot of pushback. I mean, a lot of pushback. And we're going to read some of the comments and the quote tweets because we got to. We we have to roast this because that's the only way. That's uh, that's the only way we could show them. Show them that uh, this isn't uh, this isn't cool. Oh no, this is not cool at all. So let's get to it. Let's read this. All right, let's read this garbage. So they did an editor's note. So shocking, right? I wonder why they did it. There has been conversation online regarding the diversity space tool. They really, really like using that word. So uh, we're gonna count it. That's one particularly concerning its intent and our commitment to diversity. Two, we've edited this blog post to clarify that this prototype is not being used in active game development. We would like to add the following comment for additional context. Ooh, I wonder what it says. I just realized my big fat head is covering everything. So tell you what, I'm just going to pop out and then pop back in when I'm done reading this crap. Started in 2016, the Diversity Space Tool currently in beta, that's three. I know it's the title of the tool, but I'm going to count it. I don't care. Was designed as an optional supplement to the hard work and focus our teams already placed on telling diverse, that's four, stories with diverse, that's five, characters. But decisions regarding in-game content have been and will always be driven by development teams. The tool was developed at King and have been beta tested by several developers across the company, all of whom have provided valuable input. Yeah, huh, right. The objective of using this tool is to uncover unconscious bias. Unconscious bias? Ooh, man, I'll talk about a red flag. By identifying existing norms in representation, a word they like to use a lot, and acknowledging opportunities for growth and inclusion, Another word they like to use a lot. It is not a substitute for any other essential efforts by our teams in this regard, nor will it alter our company's diversity. Six. That's six right there. Hiring goals. Over the past several years, the development of the tool was done with the support of all our employees, DE and I networks, and will collaborate with external partners to create an even more robust tool. All right, you're still with me? Here comes the juicy part. So, the tool isn't meant to be used in isolation. The team would sit down with the company, DE&I staff, to identify existing norms and then discuss, educate, consult, and collaborate on how a character's representation, I told you they like using that word a lot, is expressed beyond those norms. This process is intended to create a conversation where our developers, assisted by the tool, Challenge assumptions, assess choices, and find opportunities for authentic representation to be fostered in our games. So this tool was practically made to fight against stereotypes. But yet when you look at the characters from Overwatch, you got a buff Russian chick, a black guy with dreads that likes to use music for his weapons, and a white dwarf. Oh yeah, you're really bucking the trend there, Blizzard, let me tell you. You know what else this tool does? It pretty much calls you a racist and bigot for thinking the way you do. Yep, that's right. Blizzard made a tool that calls out the way you think. If that's not dystopian, I don't know what is.
Alright, let's end this. Activision Blizzard is committed to reflecting the diversity, 7, fuck it, I'm just gonna say 7, of its millions of players around the world through representation, there's that word again, and inclusion. Wow, back to back, that's crazy. In its games as well as its employees, our intent with this blog entry was to share an in-progress piece of our journey in this endeavor. We recognize and respect that all people may be on their own awkward points in their journey with DENI. The diversity 8 space tool is not a definitive evolution of diversity 9 in game content. Rather, it's, it is a bridge in opening previously unspoken conversations into how thoughtful inclusion can happen and drive in games. Beep boop. Oh god, reading all of this was so mind-numbing. Uh okay, I need a laugh. This this all of this is just asinine. Oh alright, I need to come back. Okay, give me a second. In three, two, boop. Alright. Let's read some comments. Okay, let's read some of these tweets. I understand the intent, but this is the most inhuman corporate solution possible. It's like they ask Skynet for help with their design process. Yes. Yes, they did. I'm glad you noticed. You're telling me this is real and not some 4chan picture to take the piss? Nope, because if 4chan did this, it would have been funny. Oh, okay, here's another one. Remember that this is an outrage bait because Activision Blizzard is trying to distract from the union busting and other allegations. Correct. Activision Blizzard, you're wasting money on this garbage when you should be using this money to make a good game. Well, they're not going to do that, so more diversity and inclusion. Oh, my God. This is so cringe. <laughs> it's not that deep, Blizzard. Just do a better job. You would think they would do that, but they never do. They never do. We really are just numbers to them, aren't we? Duh. That's what we've been saying all this time. Welcome to the fight. You will do better to remember your rank on the Blizzard diversity scale. Civilian. <laughs> okay, that's pretty good. That's a good one. That's a really good one. Let's see if we got some other ones. Oh, okay, okay. Anything to make us forget about the sexual harassment lawsuit. Oh my god. Yep, anything to forget. Oh, but it always comes back. It always does. But yeah, there's a lot of good ones out there. Don't worry. I'm going to leave the link in the description so you could go look through them if you want. Because trust me, there is, there is hours of fun here. Just hours of it. You might even find me. Hee <laughs> hee. But with that said, I'm I'm done. This is this is I can't do this anymore. I'm just done. But before we go, I got some good news. You know, you gotta you gotta live life with, you know, a glass half full. So with this whole diversity chart that they did, we get to find out the uh the pink haired Russian chick is straight. Yeah, that's crazy, right? You know, it's true what they say, don't judge a book by its cover, but that also means that we still got a chance, boys. Alright, that's it, I'm done. Until next time, see ya.